Hello and welcome to part two of permanent fold video. My name is Lena and I'm Pearls Knitting. Today I will tell you why do we need this, how do we use it and what happens after we created the fold. So last video I created the fold but I didn't continue working with either rib or um, any pattern that you that you have after the permanent fold. What happens here is, um, again, just to recap the last video, part one, uh, the little, so we will knit all of the knit stitches and we will slip all of the uh, purl stitches, whether you on one side knitting flat, uh, it'll be the same on the other one or in a round. So when we slip the stitches, this float is very short and it creates a little sturdier uh, sm uh, shorter distance between between stitches here so it creates that uh, structure when do we need it sometimes we need it at the neckline so I'm working on my current design I created a permanent fold here let me show you this so see how stitches they're not as um, the yarn is too thin for this big size of a, of a needle but I, it's strategically done so it will stretch out i didn't want the neckline trim to stretch out so what i did is i created that permanent fold this is the permanent fold you can see it this is the elongated stitch that holds it together at the uh, wrong side of the work this is the right side of the work when we fold it see it creates more sturdier line this will stretch more but this won't it just stays put so at the neckline it will never gape it will just always stay in the right position you won't need to use uh, any stretchy fabric uh, stretchy thread or something to keep it together so that's what it is and when for the neckline when i fold it when i fold it together so this is this is this is the continuation of the work I just fold the fabric together, I knit two stitches together, uh, or use different techniques to join them, and um, there it is. It creates that neckline trim with the fold. So because I have, I'm creating the seam here as I go, and this line is sturdier, it will just never stretch. So this part stretches, you see, but this one won't, it just keeps it tight. So that's how I use the permanent fold in neckline. If I were, this is one of my designs, um, to create a fold here at the brim of the hat, I purled one row. So it will actually fold, see? And it's a good technique, doable. It will still hold that fold, but if I were to work this, it creates a slightly different look and it will achieve a little better results than this. So I would use it for the uh, brim of the hat and I like the I like to have the brim to, fo to fold it. So that's what I would use in any hat or almost all of the hats, um, except for the slouchy ones. So this is what you do, and you just keep on working. So after you work the the um, the fold, either work in the rib or stocking it stitch, reverse stocking it stitch, anything else that you that you see fit. So if this were um, a brim of the hat, it will be just you know constantly folded like that. If that's what you want. And then from here on, you can uh, work in a uh, stockinette stitch, reverse stockinette stitch, any pattern that you would like after the fold. So you just continue working it. You don't need to secure it. It's fine on its own, just like that. Or as a neckline, you can just knit two together, purl two together, and join uh, the fabric for the fold. So this is how you use it. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it answers the questions. And uh, let me know if you have any more questions on this. Thank you for watching. I'm coming to you with a little update on the permanent fold. 
So this is the sweater, uh, my yoke sweater that I'm working on, and it will be released pretty soon, if not released yet, when you see this video. Um, so what I did here is I worked, let's say, eight rows of uh, rib, and then I worked two rows, only two rows, and I like it, of the slip stitch for that permanent fold, and then six rows of the rib again. So what it did is just created that perfect little curve, but this one, this is sturdier than, than let's say this. This will stretch more. It won't because I have a seam here, but this one will never completely unravel and it will keep its shape. So this is one extra use and it's just two rows. See those little um, floats? And you can actually make it tighter, um, maybe uh, switch to a slightly smaller needle and just work those two rows the, with lesser floats and with slightly tighter stitches that will make it even tighter if you if you choose to do so. So look at that. This is this is absolutely incredible. I like that that technique. I will use it always and you can tell like it's it's tugging a little bit here. It's never going to just flop. So there it is.